Okay, I'm gonna walk through this use of a Chromebook to slice files for our Tina 2 3D printer. Here's an example of a, an object that we printed that came off of the Chromebook sent to us by our friend Jason who developed the settings for Chrome operating system and the Tina 2. I'll show you how we're doing this. I'm starting with Thingiverse. I took this um, beam code off Thingiverse. I downloaded the files. I'll give you a link to this particular code here for this web, web page. Once I downloaded it, I went into Tinkercad and I brought the STL file into Tinkercad and then I added text. In this case, Jason's name. Remember that when we want to delete something on our screen off of the screen, we use the backspace button. We don't have a delete button on Chromebook. Backspace is the same as delete. I'm gonna turn this off. <clears throat> we can pause the print. back to it later. Also, I have the setting on that Tina 2 for uh, lost power so that if it loses electricity, somebody unplugs it, then we can plug it back in again and it will start again from where it had left off. <clears throat> now, how do we get from Tinkercad or Thingiverse <clears throat> into a slicer that works with Chrome and Tina 2. We do Tina 2 because we didn't know about this. We didn't know that there was such a thing until Jason worked through it in the past couple of days and we now have it. <clears throat> Here's an example of adding text, his name Jason, to this beam. Then I can export the image as an STL file right here. And that will save to my downloads. Now, when I go to Kirimoto, this is the Slicer program that has been developed in the past day or 48 hours to work with the Tina and Chromebook. That's the important point. We're using Chromebook. This Chromebook is a HP version and it has eight gigabytes of RAM. That may be important if your Chromebook only has four gigabytes of RAM, it may not work. This has eight. I spent $70, $70 on this Chromebook used off eBay. The Tina 2 costs about $145 with extra filament spools, it'll cost around 100, 165 today. What do we do once we get, one, the way to get this um, STL file in here is to go to files right here and import. Click on that and you'll have choices and this comes from our downloads folder. So we choose the STL file that we had saved 
either in Thingiverse or Tinkercad that we want to print. We import that, giving us this. Now, once we've finished with this, we can go up here and click Slice. Now it's sliced. Now we can do export. And it will export as a G code file right here, G code for our Tina 2. That's what Tina 2 can read, G code files. I do download. It's downloading right here, show in folder. And here it is as a G code file. Now I can drag it and drop it onto my SD card and plug the SD card into the Tina 2. And start printing. That's an overview of how we do this. There'll be more about this because I think this is very important for people to know how to use a Chromebook. And we now have shown that it does work in our Kiri Moto Grid Space Kiri. And I'm told that this whole system is going to be imported into Kirimoto in the next few days so that you will be able to use it without having to get a special file for it. So there will be more.